All right, hey, so parents, thanks for driving the players out tonight. Uh, the weather is always dicey on Thursday nights for some reason, but we appreciate what we have here at Highmark to have the ability to come inside, practice right up until the last minute, and do stuff like this. So thanks to all the parents. Thanks for all the kids showing up. What I want to do before the weekend, I want to introduce all of the coaches, all right? Whose throw card is this from last in Michigan, maybe? Who's a goalie? Aiden. All right. All right, so we're going to introduce all the coaches. All right, so I'm going to let them speak. Hi, my name's Colton Weir. I graduated from Butler, and I'm currently playing at Limestone College. I play defense at LSM. What team are you going to coach? I'm coaching the 2022s. We'll hold the applause until the end. I know Colton's a great dude, but we'll <laughs> Connor Morgan, graduated from St. Mary's College of Maryland. He was there. He was Naval Academy in the summers. He coached at the Taylor Area Township Youth Program. And defense coached at 2021. All right. Um, I'm Evan Front. I just graduated. I'm uh, just graduated from Quaker Valley. My name's Evan. Um, I'm attending Capital University in fall. I'm an attackman. I'm coaching the 24s. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, I'm playing at St. Vincent right now. Can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, I graduated from Butler. I'm playing for St. Vincent right now. I'm a face-off mini coach, and I'm coaching the 21s. What's his name? Uh, Dave. All right. All right, here we go. What's up, guys? I'm Brendan. Uh, I graduated from Middle High School. Uh, I'm a midfielder at Capital University, and I'm coaching the 2021 this year. Uh, I'm Jake McKee. I'm from Moon. I coach there for the youth, uh, U12, U14, and all that. Uh, and I help out with defense, and I coach two 2023s. I'm Jenny McDan. I grew up on Long Island. I went to Hurst, now University of West Coast when I was there. I spent the last 13 years coaching in Maryland. Just moved back up here, and I'll be working with the goalies in the 2022. I'm Sam Lex. I graduated from Butler. I'm a midfielder at w and J. I'm coaching the 2021s. I'm Jared Panza. I play at St. Vincent. Graduated from Shaler. Um, I play defense. I'm coaching the 24s. Josh Buzzard. Um, I'm a coach for the 2023s. Uh, AJ Hammer. I'm from Moon, and I coach at Trinity. I'm a varsity coach at Moon as well, or at Trinity as well. So. Brian McClure, uh, 2024 head coach. Uh, I'm Shane Ficarelli. I'm going to be helping out with the 2022s. I was an attackman at LaRoche and at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm an assistant coach at Central Catholic now. Nick Jericho, I'm from Moon with the 2024s on defense. Just graduated from Harvard College. I'm John Brennan. I'm with the Audubon University. I coach the NA Youth Program, and I'll be helping out with the goal this year. I'm Bill Cronin. I played at Academy New Church in Philadelphia. They're ranked number four in the state this year. I played one year for their college team. I played for PLC, and then I played for Slippery Rock. I coached Freeport, and now I'm coaching with the 24s. All right, so I think we have many great coaches. I hope that all the players and parents get to know their coaches. Every team has four coaches, one for every position, and I think that's fantastic, and I think that's something that other – programs cannot brag about because I don't think they have that. We have a lot of experience. We have a lot of good guys that are here as well. So we'll see most of these guys this weekend. Ask questions, find out more about them, figure out how they can help you become a better player. So round of applause for our coaches. Yeah. Uh, the guy that does all the work and puts the goals away in the rain. <laughs> so Jack, go ahead and tell me your story. All right, guys, I'm uh, Coach Jack. I'm the, uh, uh, in the regular season, I'm the offense coordinator at South Fayette. Um, I'm the uh, 2022 head coach for you guys, and I'm really excited. I came on board uh, with Ultimate in the fall, and it's been a, an awesome time ever since. Been getting to know some of you guys and a lot of new faces this year, and it's going to take me until next year to learn the rest of your names. Uh, I mean, the South Bay guys will tell you it took me all year to learn some of their names, so uh, it's nothing new there. But I'm really excited for uh, this tournament coming up this weekend. I, I think we got uh, a lot of talent on this team, and I'm really excited to show those guys down in Maryland what we can do. That's right. All right. Hey, so just a couple of things. All right, we got the Athletic Republic trainers here. 
So every, I think all remaining Thursdays that we practice here, they will do speed and agility training with us every time we're down here. So uh, I think it's a great change of pace. Uh, we've collaborated on a lot of good stuff for lacrosse players, and I'm going to let Alex speak. Hey guys, Alex Arnold, I'm the director of fitness out in Wexford. Uh, here's two of the trainers that I work with. Mike and Avery, um, everybody got a chance to work with them today. Guys, a lot of awesome stuff on the field. First off, awesome for being out there in the rain. That's seriously awesome. Um, a lot of dedication to the parents too. But uh, guys, for the kids, a lot of stuff that uh, we saw that I would love to work on and be able to like nitpick with each and every one of you. I'm sure them the same way. And I'm sure we'll start calling you guys out a little bit more as we get to know you guys a little bit better and uh, work with you guys each week. Biggest things that I can probably say, at least off the top of my head, were definitely, I was yelling at you guys all day about heels. Guys, think about the toes. This sport should be a lot on your toes. Um, another thing was knees, knees coming in, so just keep working on the hips. We'll always say that. You guys want to add anything to it? Um, just try to be later on your feet. Always, like that Coach Alex said, stay on the balls of your feet. Fast, fast, fast. If you get caught on your heels at any point, you're going to get beat, whether you're an offensive player or a defensive player. Always, always on the balls of your feet, ready to attack and explode. My biggest thing for all you guys. Yep. So, Athletic Republic, this is a great partnership. Uh, I think there's a lot of added benefit for our players. And if anybody here wants additional training, uh, I think Alex would be happy to set that up. We offer discounts as a part of the Ultimate Lax program. So, talk to Alex. See if there's anything you need to work on if you want to come out to, to the uh, gym in Wexford. All right, so round of applause for Athletic Republic. <laughs> Couple housekeeping items, all right? We, we get a lot of questions, but, but number one, Slack. Uh, I know Slack was maybe frustrating to impl implement, and I know it's probably frustrating to get a lot of notifications lately. Good news is, we're gonna talk less on it, because I think we're pretty organized now, and I think that everyone's on it, right? Is everybody on Slack? Ooh. Yeah, if you're not on Slack, you're probably not here, because you didn't know that we're practicing tonight. So that, that's really important for me, because for me to manage 95 players and four teams, I need one place to communicate with everybody. And I love when other parents chime in and answer questions for me because it makes my life easier. So just, just so you know, Slack really makes my life easier and I appreciate everybody participating. All right, does anybody have questions about Slack? No. This weekend, I hope to go over Slack, put it up on a projector and answer questions on how to use it, best practices and how we're gonna be most efficient, you know, how we're going to reply, how we're going to comment, and, and so that our phones are not constantly blowing up. Everybody cool with that? All right. Questions that I, I received tonight. Reversibles. There are players with brand new reversibles, which are awesome. There are guys with UL reversibles that are the old style, which are cool too. And then there's a, guy, a bunch of guys with a bunch of ugly ones that I'm going to mention the names of what they wear. All right. So, bless you. <laughs> so, so we will get everybody reversibles. Yeah. It's just an organizational thing. And if you have a UL jersey, wear it. If you get a new one, give us the old UL one back. You got it, Tyler? What are you doing if you get a new one? Yeah, give us the old one back, all right? So, we are going to get everybody new ones eventually, all right? So, tomorrow I will place the order. It takes two weeks. There is a 12-piece minimum. I had to wait until we had everybody accounted for because if I placed the order and one person was left behind, I wouldn't be able to order. So I just hope you can appreciate and respect that. We would get you stuff. It sucks that it's the middle of the summer, but I'll do whatever it takes to get it to you and make it up to you. So questions, cleats. Uh, some of the 23s, I shared the situation with Inbounds, Warrior, and uh, Brian. Uh, they have some issues internally, and we're working through those with them. And they only ship me what they want to ship me. They don't ship me what I order. It's kind of a strange arrangement. So we get various size cleats, even when I tell them we need wide. So I promise you, I will get you the wides and the sizes that you need. What I cannot promise is the color that you want. They are only shipping us colors that they have. They will not replenish their cleat inventory until next spring. So I think that's really lame, and I think that it really makes us a mixed match or mixed whatever team. And I want everybody to have the same stuff, but it's not something that I can control. Everybody understand that? If, if, this, if this right here was up to me, we would all have all of our stuff, we would all look the same, and we would all have it three months ago. But unfortunately, I have to rely on other people. Got it? All right, any questions before we leave? You guys can always ask me anything. 
I will always answer it honestly, and I'll never lie to you. I'll always tell you what I know. Any parents? Come on, there's gonna be somebody. <laughs> Don't make me call you out. I, I know who has questions. Question. So for Friday night dinner, if you are going to be at the Hampton for dinner and you have not told your coach mom, your I team mom, yeah, you guys, he's, I got, I you haven't here. told your team mom, can you please, please, please let them know tonight yes. through Slack or tomorrow because I'm going to be ordering pizza and salad based on the people who have responded. Yeah. And then when you're there, plan to have $20 to give to me to pay for the pizza and the salad and drinks. All right. Hey, guys, when coaches yell at you about anything on the field, Athletic Republic yells at you, we tell you to shut up. Why do you think that is? Is that because we just like to be mean? No. No. We, we really can't. care about you guys. Yeah. We care about this group of young men. We want to make you better. So be respectful, please. So team moms, we have a team mom assigned for every team. They are a great help. If you scroll to the top of your graduation year thread, at the very top it has a schedule, practices, events, and the team mom. So if you don't know who it is, you can go look, parents, okay? So anybody that hasn't replied about, hey guys, your mom's a team mom and you're talking. So we need replies. Hey, when we ask for information, we need to have it, and we can get it very quickly in Slack. So a couple things about team dinner. I think I posted five o'clock. That is not firm. I just I like throwing out a time to see when people will arrive. We will be there from six to eight, from five to eight, whatever you need. So if you're gonna arrive anytime between five and nine, and you wanna eat and participate, let your team mom know. Private message, emoji response on the post, whatever you need to do. 